just gonna go ahead and do my winged eyeliner and put lipstick on and pretend this looks fantastic and you're gonna pretend like this was the best video you've ever seen and that you love me and you're gonna subscribe So today's the day I start my YouTube channel and let's just see how it goes. This could inspire a hundred people, it could inspire two people and why not? It could inspire no one but that doesn't matter because I enjoy talking to myself. This isn't so much a tutorial, more of like a get ready with me um I'll do more tutorials in the future when I'm I understand how all this works um but anyway oh wow that was fantastic this is what I use as a primer um so let's just start by priming my face I use quite a lot of primer because I have a disgusting face. My mirror's over there. That's why I will be looking over there. Fun fact of the day. So I'm going to go ahead and do my foundation with... I don't know so this is a problem I don't bother to buy an expensive foundation that matches my skin really well because I don't like wearing foundation I only ever do it if I'm doing like a, a full-on look which is rarely once a month maybe I'm just gonna go ahead and start on my base let's do that Usually for my eyelids, I put a MAC paint, paint pot, is that what it's called, um, primer on, but I ran out and it's $40 I think, and I'm just like, you know what, I can handle not priming my eyelids, so let's not get it. So that is one step that I usually do that won't be on here today. I am now just going to put some like translucent powder under my eyes just so that when I get fallout from my eyeshadow it won't ruin my face. Um, while I do that I will also put in my contour and I like to do my highlight at this stage as well. So with my highlight I use this one from Nina. Um, they are amazing they're like animal cruelty free um and they're like really good pricing too they're not expensive at all and they have an amazing range of products like crazy big their store is aesthetic as hell like you go in and all their nail polishes are lined up like color coordinated they have all their lipsticks in like they're just like perfectly displayed oh wow i love that it's so pretty what's next oh yeah i haven't done the contour yet something i admire about uh <clears throat> real <laughs> makeup artists um, so like not me, uh, is the time they put into doing makeup. I am very lazy and I just like 
hurry, I guess. I just don't like to spend a lot of the time I make on my makeup. I do love getting a beautiful end result, but I usually try and aim for a beautiful end result in not much time because, um, I don't know, I just, I don't get bored of it, but I just don't have a very good attention span, I guess, so the quicker I go, the more likely it is that I'm going to actually achieve something at all. Okay, so I did have a little break. I added some more powder here for no reason at all. Nothing special about that. Also, I did realise I looked at the footage that I took before. I'm sitting really close to the camera. I don't know if you guys care about that. I don't know. We'll figure that out as I film more things. So now it's time for everyone's favorite part. Not the eyebrows. I don't know why I wiggled my eyebrows. My eyes, my eyeballs. So I was just thinking, how about I put some blush on? I'm not a big blush person, which is stupid because I should be. Because like, who doesn't want rosy cheeks? Okay, I'm not gonna do that. Well, I've sort of got to do this side now. I don't have a choice. I'll add some more at the end. That might have been a mistake, but oh well, these things happen. Um, well, anyway, I'm going to get on to the eyes now. This palette here is just stunning. It's um, by Kryolan. They are amazing. They have heaps of really good products. I have a lot of their, um, like, uh... theater makeup that's what I was looking for um yeah I have a lot of their like uh bases and stuff which are fantastic so when my girlfriend got me this I was like yes this is gonna be so good I'm gonna do my eyes I'm going to go for I can't get my eyes away from reds and yellows honestly they're just so pretty Oh, I love them so much and my problem is I'm not I don't know how to execute them that well so like the yellows don't always pop up as well as I'd like them to but your girl is gonna attempt anyway so let's just see what happens now I haven't put a base down at all for this so I don't know what's going to happen. And I honestly don't think that is made for eyes. I don't know what it's for. You know what that would be good for, actually? Contour down my nose. The more you know. It's like... Makeup is just like one huge ass learning curve. Learning experience, I guess. You know, everyone does it differently. And I've watched billions of makeup tutorials, but. What? You fell down. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I've finally decided on a brush after what, seven hours? Do you like that I just looked at my imaginary watch? I don't know if you heard that, but my neighbor just sneezed really loud. <laughs> Something.
thing I should mention as well is that I actually have a lazy eye. I wear glasses, so when I'm not wearing glasses, technically my eye sits like this. So that's how my eye naturally sits, but I just try and focus it when I have my glasses off. But it's really hard when something is like in your face because my eye can't really focus on it so yeah that's the reason behind my wonky eye all right so that is like a bulk of it done i am going to dust off the powder do green under the waterline is that what it's called I don't know. yeah i'm gonna do that I completely forgot about my eyebrows so I'm gonna do that before I finish with my the rest of my eyes um, my eyebrows are so basic so I'm not gonna bother to show you stay tuned I'll be back in a few seconds with my eyebrows and I'm back um, so my eyebrows are done uh, my eyebrows are really basic um, I'll do like a proper video on them one day but um I find that a lot of people go through a lot of steps and like they're so careful with them oh my god I just sound like I'm bashing on everyone else I'm just saying that I'm bad um I don't take my time with them and that's probably why they're not as pretty as everyone else's but I like that thick Okay, so I went in and softened the lines around my, my eyes. I didn't realise there was black on my brush. So I did get some dark something or other happening there. But oh well. I contoured my nose. And added a bit more blush. Mm -hmm. Now we're just going to pop some colour under my eyes. Do winged liner, lipstick, mascara and then we're done. I'm really tossing up between a blue and a green for under my eyes. Blue? I was actually really going to do green. I'm pretty sure I said green before. Now, I don't usually bring the colour up that far, so I've automatically regretted my decision. I got rid of the base before. Not the base. I don't remember the word. The translucent powder. I got rid of that, so I'm going to get fallout now. I am a mess. I'm just gonna go ahead and continue to put the blue under my eyes. Okay, funny story. I fricky fracked up. Um, this. Don't ask me what's happening. I'm just going to go ahead and do my winged eyeliner and put lipstick on and pretend this looks fantastic and you're going to pretend like this was the best video you've ever seen and that you love me and you're going to subscribe. I feel like white would be really nice with this, but um, white takes too much concentration and I've already taken up all my concentration today, so black it is. White takes up concentration because um, uh, the colour really easily picks up. The colour really easily picks up the eyeshadows, so I find it hard to not let them bleed, so black. That's sort of, um, that's sort of good. That wing 
is definitely different. This one's up and that one's out. You know what I want to title this video? Girl does makeup okay at start and then goes downhill from there. And that'll be the thumbnail. <laughs> I literally used no mirror for that. I was looking at the reflection in the tiny piece of my camera. So, thank you, Lord Jesus, for this talent. A um, little shout out to Inglot for being the most amazing lipstick brand. Their lipsticks stay in place, like, amazingly. I forgot to clean off the foundation on my lips, so the red is going to be a bit dulled down, but oh the fuck well. I can't fix that though because once this is on your face, it's sort of locked in place. Right, that's pretty much the final look I think <laughs> I think the difference between doing a look for Instagram and for YouTube is the fact that I'm really concentrating on doing the makeup when I'm doing it for Instagram whereas when it's on YouTube I'm like thinking about should I be saying something right now should I be filming this at a different angle how am I going to edit that later? So there's a lot more running through your head and that's why it probably doesn't get executed as well. Um, but with saying that, I don't think it was the worst. This is what you got. And at least I filmed something. So, you know, got to be happy with that, hey? So... That was the most boring thing you've ever watched, so I would suggest you subscribe, like, and share this video. Thanks. And don't bully me or I'll cry. A bit of everything went down the drain. But that's alright. What can you do? Next week, I'm filming a Get to Know Me video while doing my makeup so come back next week to see me fail at doing my makeup some more thanks so much for watching have a good day <laughs> goodbye i don't know what to say now Let's have another toast to the girl.